Okay, here we have my Mazda 3. Um, we're having some troubles with it. It threw a check engine light, and here in Georgia, you gotta do an annual smog um, for the cars that require it, or I guess they just call it emissions test out here. And that falls on your birth date. So my birth month is in September, so it just, it just happened to throw a check engine light in the month of August when it's due for emissions test. So, gonna try to make this quick. There's a wasp on the car. Um, gonna pull the code, see what it is, and I think I already have an idea. Let's show you the process. Okay, I got the key in the on position. Got my scanner hooked up. We got one code found, uh, but all the monitors are okay. There's a little gnat in here. All right, let's go through this. So, read codes. Okay, so it's a P0441 EVAP emission system incorrect purge flow. Okay, so incorrect purge flow. Purge flow is related to, it's expecting a certain flow, and it's commanding it, but it's not doing it. Okay, so incorrect purge flow, to me, that basically means about three things that it possibly could be. Um, now first off, you have the purge flow valve. That's the thing that allows the purge to happen for the um, evap stuffed flow to the gas tank um, and then make it to, I think it goes to the charcoal canister or something like that. Um, you don't really need to know too much about the emission stuff other than there's a purge flow valve. So that purge flow valve can sometimes go bad internally. Uh, it's supposed to open up once you give power. So I don't know exactly which way it is, but one, when it disconnects power, either you can't blow through it or you can't suck through it, or when it has power, vice versa. Something like that will fail, and it, it's clearly obvious when it happens. Purge flows are easy to get to, but easier thing and sometimes cheaper is gas tap gas cap. Now, if you've ever heard of someone replacing the gas cap to get rid of a check engine light, this is the code they're getting rid of. So the thing is, this gas cap on this car, and which leads me to believe it's this, this is loose. Like, you can hear that, you can see it, it just, it does not thread in good at all. Now, I couldn't begin to tell you why that is, but Let's try, we got a new gas cap here. Open it up, let's try it out. The reason why I'm opting to do this before really testing anything is this is so cheap and simple. Anyone could do this. Okay, and it still has a little bit of a loose wiggle. So, that might be the best it is, who knows. Sometimes if the fuel filler hose has been replaced. Sometimes those aftermarket ones just don't work well with the cap. So we'll see what this is. I'm gonna clear the check engine light, let my wife drive it to work a few days, and then I'll update you if this comes back. And just to give you an idea of how easy this is, if it is the purge flow, purge flow is located right here. So this red is the automatic transmission dipstick. And then right next to it, this little circular thing with the plug and two vacuum lines. That is our purge flow. So, in the event that this gas cap fix does not fix it, I'm going to pull the purge flow out, blow through it, do that little test, and yeah. Alright, it's been a month since the last clip basically. And the check engine light did come back on, so here we have the new purge solenoid valve. So this is the type where you blow through it, you can't. Uh, but you give it power, 12 volt, and then the valve opens up and you can blow through. So what must be happening with this one is when it's getting power, the valve inside is sticking, it's not opening. Um, yeah, so that, that's basically all it is with this code. I mean, it's one of the two things. Or your fuel tank itself is leaking. You have... I mean, I guess you could have an evap hose that's leaking too, possibly, but 
Typically, it's either just your gas cap or this purge valve solenoid. So that's why it's cheap enough. Let's just do it. Pull off the hose clip, pull off the connector, and put the new one on. All right, as you can see, the new purge valve solenoid's in. We should be good to go here. We'll start it up. So check engine light will still be on because I didn't clear codes or anything. But mainly I just wanted to make sure the engine started. It's not running funny. We don't have a vacuum leak. So we are good. I did notice this a few days ago. Negative 10 degrees outside. That's Fahrenheit. So you know that's absolutely not true. 